Thank you for joining us for this week's two minute tech tip. The question today is, how does Canvas Gradebook work? So I'm gonna talk about how does the default work to start out, and Dan and Rhonda will get into some more detail for you. So how you create a column in your gradebook inside your course is to create an assignment. When you create an assignment, it automatically creates a column in your gradebook. Now you can't create a column separately standalone away from the assignment. You have to have the assignment created and that will then create your column in the gradebook. And your students can resubmit assignments as many times as they need unless you change that when you create your assignment to only one or however many. Dan, you can talk to us a little bit about grouping. Yes, uh, whenever you create an assignment, it's going to exist in one or more assignment groups, uh, again, on that assignment page. These groups correspond to the subtotal columns you're going to see on the right edge of your Grade Center spreadsheet. Uh, those subtotal columns uh, provide a tally for any assignment group, and of course, they uh, add together to form the total grade for any given student. Um, if you want to minimize those columns, make sure all your assignments are in one group. Um, and those groups also have another purpose, Rhonda. Yes, if you are in the course link assignments, in the upper right hand corner, you will find a stack of three dots. When you click on those dots, there'll be a pull down menu and that, that will give you the option for assignment group weights. So if you choose, to, to have, for example, homework be 50% of the grade and exams be 40% of the grade and journals 10% of the grade, this is where you're going to be able to weight each assignment group, which is very, very handy because then Canvas will do all the math for you. So I hope that information, those tips were really helpful for you. Those are our recommendations for this week. If you have any issues or any questions, please feel free to reach out to us at eLearning and we'll see you next week.